Hey y'all, I've had a few requests for uh, Welcome to the Machine. And I just looked at it, and it's seven and a half minutes, and to be honest, there's no way I was gonna get through seven and a half minutes of that song. And, and then uh, I was just listening to the uh, chord changes, and uh, I'd have to listen to it about 10 times to, to get those memorized of, not the actual chord shapes, but when they come in. And uh, I don't like this one enough. Uh, to do that. But, but, um, <laughs> I will show you how I would play the core shapes and uh, then you can uh, work it through yourself of your own arrangement of it and get the timing of it down if you were going to uh, play this one. So um, it's in E minor, right? And they do, most of these are, a lot of them anyway, are up strokes on it. Except uh, I don't hear a regular E minor for those first chords. I hear this. So that's the open E string, your A string at the second, then your D string at the fourth, and then everything else open, and you pick up like this. And then it goes, welcome my son, and then just move everything up one fret. To the machine. Now, I'm pretty sure he's using a 12 string on it, so this note is, is the octave of that one, this high. E at the second fret. He's probably actually getting that note because it's a 12 string and he's got an octave string on there. But for uh, playing it with a regular six string, I'll do a regular E minor and then the high E at the second fret. So if you do, if you go through, welcome my son, welcome to the machine. And then I think it goes over again. No, it goes back to the C thing. This one. A string at the third, D at the fifth. In the pipeline, filling in time. Same one you just did. And then another one of these. It's alright, where have you been? What with the part where he goes. <laughs> it's alright, we know where. That's an A. I play it as an A with an open B string. So the D and the G at the second fret. It's alright, we know where you've been. And that when he's getting into the strumming part of it, I, I would just be hitting the regular E minor for that. But I think there might be a couple more of these. So uh, it goes through a bunch of those, whatever the changes are. And then there's this little... So uh, I would do that. Again, this is just the way uh, I'm hearing it after listening to it once, once through. I would do, uh, don't, I wouldn't play the E and the A on this, leave those alone. So the D at the second. Actually, you might be better off doing that with your ring finger. So that goes up two frets on the D string up to the fourth fret, and now you're covering the high E at the second. So for the rest of this part, those are two frets, of, two frets apart, the D and the high E. Up one fret, up two. Right now this one. I'll, I'll hit this one when it goes into the welcome. So if you want to get some real heft behind that chord, um, it's G and A at the third fret and the D string at the second fret. Basically a, a C chord with the low G covered, and then take, you know, take the B string open. You can finger it. It's fingered like an E, except up here. Those three, if you can see them, the, the lowest three strings, the, the fattest three strings. And I think from here it comes into another one of those. 
That's all the chords there are to it. Uh, there's this shape. Then move it up one fret. Then there's this. There's that. When it goes. Where have you been? It's all right. That's that A with the B open. A chord with a B string open. Then there's a regular E minor. And then there's this little bit. Um, that's about it. At least the way I would uh, I would strum it around the campfire. So good luck with it, and uh, I suppose send me a note if you have any trouble. But um, this is about as familiar with this song as I'm inclined to get. So <laughs> good luck.